well hello and you catch me getting myself ready for a little bit of an adventure i'm at ponticillin reservoir car park i've just been in the cafe to get myself a drink and go to the toilet so i'm parking here for the rest of the day i've got a new toy to help me assist me with my photography so i want to trip down to the horseshoe waterfalls and that's about five or six miles so you guessed it i've got a bike i've got a bike handy that's going to take me all the way down there but this is not the normal bike that i normally ride this is definitely one that you might be interested in but i'd like to get a couple of photographs of the canal on the way so let's see what happens and uh, what we can get but first of all let's gear myself up and i'll show you my little secret weapon a little bit later on but for now safety first so as you can probably guess i am on an escute mountain bike but it's not a mountain bike i'm on something a lot different and when i show you this you're gonna love it because it's so simple and easy to ride it really is a dream and this is for the normal rider not the crazy mountain bike rider that i tend to get on to and what i do so first of all let's get to safety get on the canal and then i'll talk to you a bit more down there all right so this actually generally makes riding very much easier and to get the distance let's say six miles is just going to be an absolute doddle and uh, we can stop and take pictures on the way as well this is definitely landscape photography with a little bit of a fun factor tied in so I've actually stopped along the canal now uh, to get my first image and the first image is of a little old just a little tiny old barge but you've got one of these lift bridges and I just think the two go together quite well I like the fact they got this little barge and I'm holding the camera up quite high because I need to get a little bit of separation between the bridge behind but I just love the fact that you've got this nice little nice little barge or a nice little canal boat uh, which gives you a bit of feedback to what we're on and then this little bridge lifted up behind it and it's a really old traditional bridge so yeah first photograph is done <laughs> riding along thoroughly enjoying this little escute and this is another escute bike it's not a mountain bike like I said this is a very traditional retro looking bike 
and is extremely comfortable and very, very pleasurable to ride. And I've just spotted another photograph and I've just got to take it because there's a reflection in the water. So bear with me just one second while I take this. Putting the camera on my capture clip as well, it just means I can stop and take pictures, but I just like this reflection. I think that's pretty. Oh, very slow. I need to adjust my ISO. Let's just bump my ISO up to about 800 and put it on a single shot, I think. And just get this one shot hold it steady let's drop my f stop down to 5.6 give me a bit of speed much much better right so that's that shot done so what i was saying was this little bike that i'm riding is very 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 easy to ride you can step through it the power level is fantastic and it's just an absolute pleasure it's not a mountain bike this is like I said, a traditional retro looking, almost scooter like bike. But along this canal towpath, wow, is it a breeze to ride. Level one pulls you along ample. And with the seven different gears it's got as well, Shimano gears, it's fantastic. It really is a pleasure. And I will show you more later on. And there is a dedicated video, and the link will be up in this corner if you're watching in the future. So you can have a look at that all about this thing because I absolutely rate this for this type of work. Brilliant. Six miles, don't even know I'll be now. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. tell you something as well this little bike turns heads I just had some lads row past and that's nice people on the canal boats as we're roading past and I'm talking to them they're all stopping and no oh, that's really cool and that's really smart this really has got something about it <laughs> it's quite it's quite enjoyable to ride nothing like my mountain bikes but you don't want it to be cute come on ducks that's passed. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Terrorised by the ducks. Oh, yeah. So I'm down at the horseshoe at the moment and uh, um, I've taken a couple of pictures of the horseshoe and I've been here before and it doesn't do a lot for me in all fairness. But I wanted to come down just to really have a ride, get out, the weather's really horrible and grey white skies as you can see up here in the top, it's just nothing there so I wasn't expecting a lot. But I think I've got a couple of nice pictures along the canal and on the way back I'm going to have a look and see if I can stop and get a couple more because I know it's a few images but I just wanted to get down here and uh, yeah I've done what six miles, seven miles and this thing is just fun to ride. So I'm going to head on back now and uh, yeah, have a look at this image, the Horseshoe Falls at uh, Klangolam. I'm watching all these activities going on as well. There's a lot of people in little canoes and kayaks and paddle boards and um, blow up rings. There's all sorts going on. So definitely a lot of activity down here. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you when I get along the canal a little bit and um, maybe show you the bike quickly. Yeah, so the Escute Star, that's what I'm actually riding. Um, this thing is an actual corker. It's got seven gears, Shimano gears. It's got uh, five-speed pedal assist. It's got uh, 160 mil uh, disc brakes, I think, and they're hydraulic brakes, which means this thing stops really, really well. Um, there's not much else I really want to say about it. It's fold up. I will do a dedicated video of it, but I just, I've really enjoyed riding it along this canal. and. I just think it really does help assist people getting out. I mean, if you wanted to come out and ride through the woods, ride down the forest, ride down through the town, do some cityscapes and stuff like that, having a little bike that you can step on, step off, you know, a very traditional, easy thing to ride, just makes it a doddle. You know, there's no hardship in carrying your bag and your gear because it's just sitting on your shoulders and you're having a sit all the way. So yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly. Sales pitch, gotta be doing it.
Uh, if you're interested, the link will be in the description for the bike. And if you use my code COMPTON50, they actually get a £50 discount off of it as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, I need to get a few more photographs to make this a landscape video, but I'm afraid it's turned into me riding this bike because it's fun. So I think I found another photo. Uh, I've got to get right close to the edge of the canal here to get this. But I do like this little house and the bridge and the path and the reflection coming down the edge of the canal. It's really pretty. Now, I'm shooting at ISO 400 again because I'm handheld. Um, but yeah, I do quite like that. A little reflection in the water, the bridge and all this lush greenery all around it really does make quite an interesting photo. Pretty that. Very pretty. So I'm just heading up now towards the tunnel at White House. Uh, the signpost is over on the other side of the canal and this thing is massive. I think this is about a mile long. Oh no, this is a short one. I can just see through the other side, but there's an old one that's about a mile long. So when we get to that, this is going to be extremely good fun. So I've just pulled the bike over all of a sudden because I've just seen a photograph and I think it's really, really good. So I need to get it. It's uh, a bit dark, so I'm going to have to pump my ISO up a little bit. I'm going to take it up to 800. It doesn't matter, does it? But I like this reflection and I like the view through the tunnel that you're looking straight away through the tunnel. And I know it's dark, but I just think it looks really good. So another shot, a bit wider I think, another shot in the bag. And we we'll hope the image stabilizer is doing its job. But at the end of the day, this is all about having a bit of fun. So here we go, let's go and have a look inside this tunnel. And a good thing with these are scoop bikes if they've got built-in lights. Can I ride through it? I'm going to have to walk. Oh, this is going to be a walking job, I think. I don't think I can ride through here. Oh! The roof is really low. So I don't think I can actually ride the bike through this. I'm going to have to get off and pedal and walk. White House that's the board that was on the other side as well but yeah it's quite difficult getting down here because you've got these railings on the side so walking the bike was extremely hard I had to go in and then come back out and let some people through um, and I hit the pedal a few times on the way through as well but that's a spooky little tunnel and I've got a picture from the inside looking out but I'm not sure whether it's stabilized enough I should have got my tripod off my back but I was just being lazy Right, so I'm virtually done. I'm, uh, I'm down at the Chirk Aqueduct, this is. I've just come through the quarter mile long Chirk Tunnel, which is the one down this end. And this aqueduct is pretty cool. Now I've already taken a couple of shots. Again, I'm handheld, I'm leaning over, which is great having this articulated screen. It just means I can catch my leading lines coming in the image. Um, and actually moving forward, I've got these nice little yellow flowers just in the foreground, which adds to it, because the sky is very, very white and very, very bland. but it makes quite a nice image, I think. It's got some lovely leading lines and having these old stonework aqueduct, I think really, really looks good. So I think I'm gonna call it it. I'm gonna try and find a route back that doesn't involve going down through the tunnels, along the canal, through the mud. See if I can find a route back across the road now. Um, there is a drone buzzing around my head, it's not mine, but it does make me think I wish I had mine with me. 
But yeah, pretty cool this aqueduct. So I'm going to do a quick cycle across it, turn around, come back, find a route home, and then I'm going to say goodbye. So that's it, that's me done. I'm gonna check out. I'm riding back across the aqueduct. I've been across it and then coming back again the other direction. And I just wanna say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know this isn't a brilliant landscape video, but does it really matter? I've taken a few photographs. I've enjoyed riding this new little retro bike and I've had a lot of fun doing it in the same time. So till next time, ciao for now. See you soon and uh, yeah, I'm going up the forest. See you later, bye bye.